This is Montrose in Angus, home for a local butcher carving a growing reputation as a leading retailer of the best of Scotch beef, pork and lamb. Eight pound in weight there, right there. He's Neil Watt, who two years ago set up shop after a long career in some of London's top hotels, most recently as head of the fresh meat department at the Savoy. So how does he define what his customers are looking for? They're coming to the shop and looking for Scotch beef, Scotch lamb and specially selected Scotch pork. When you're specifying your beef to your supplier, do you make any conditions about how the animal has been fed? All my animals are, are naturally fed uh, on grass parks in the summer and when they're in, they're fed on whole crop silage and that's it, just natural products, naturally made and healthy products for the animals. And why do you make that specification? Because I believe that is the best thing for the animals and my producer, he also believes that is the best food for his animals and I totally agree with him. And I think my customers find in the eating quality of the meat that, well, the return customers alone prove that the meat is so good they come back time after time. That personal service is obviously very valuable, but what sort of comments do they make to you about the actual eating quality of the meat? The, the feedback that I've had since I've opened, everyone has commented on the, the quality, the taste, the texture and the tenderness of the meat is so much better than they've been used to. How important to your customers is the Scotch label on the meat that they buy? Very important, very important. Uh, there's a lot of people want to know now about food miles. And it's very important to them how many food miles are on their food. I mean, not only meat, but bacon, everything really. Now people are more interested in the food miles, how it's been kept. Is it how old is it? You know, they're worried about things that have had chemicals or been irradiated or things like that. So it's very important that they they know that where the meats come from, and of course. Scotch beef, lamb and pork being the best in the world, I mean, there's only one choice. There's been recent moves in the Scottish pig industry to produce slightly heavier pigs, and we've got two examples in front of us here, one of a lighter, more traditional pig, and one of a heavier pig. What are your views on the comparisons of those two meats? If this size of pig had more fat on it, my customers would buy those chops and the joints from the, the shoulder and the jigget. Um, the, the smaller one, that is of what I would say is a normal sized pig. Um, and again, I mean, they wouldn't be against buying pork from pig that size if it had a nice covering of fat.